Hello! I can't spin that far, internet. I was gonna do a chair spinny thing, but computer literally just goes. I can't even show it. I can't even show it. It's a little table right there. A little table right there. I can only spin around so much. Like that. I can do a full thing. I can do a full spin. Anyways. Welcome to a new, I guess, format of videos we're trying out this week because I don't know if you've been catching my tweets right recently at Beyond Sky Ridge. That's that, right? At. But um, I've been having some issues with my Video Pro Video Pad, the what I use to edit usually. And because of that, I can't do any edited content. And so I didn't want to just resort to doing plain bloggy blog or whatever. I want to make things at least somewhat interesting. So we're gonna try this out today. I wanted to do it last week. I wanted to do it well, mainly last week, but uh, spring break time at work been super busy. I just haven't had time to record honestly outside of doing our usual streams. Which, by the way, new episode of Pokemon's coming out tonight. If you're watching this when the video drops, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that's why I hate doing these live. Love it and taking out all these blank dates, so forgive me if I start messing up. Anyways, yeah, um, blank slate. I do have a newer phone, an iPhone 11, so we'll try to mess around with this a little bit. But, um, to end this, what we gonna, what we gonna do. So, real quick plugs beforehand. I should honestly have thought beforehand and just put the things up. But, uh, Raise Energy, where am I shirt right now? Uh, they make lovely energy drinks that are. Slightly healthier, crash free, all that good stuff. I've been on them and they are super effective. But, um, uh, Code Skyridge Games at just Code Skyridge at checkout will save you 15% off on anything that you order online. And of course, my TCG stop while I'm selling plenty of singles. Got my little binder right here, honestly. It's a lot of the stuff I have. Got to fill like five orders later, I think, this week. Show off some. You can't see what's in here. It's horrible glare. Yeah. We sell stuff. And that's all the ads we're doing. Like, comment, subscribe. Forgot that. Yeah, um, today what I want to do is try to, I've been saying new format a lot. Where, like, I know a lot of you have seen plenty of podcasts for Vanguard. Uh, things like DriveCheck, of course, we can't have to support them all the time. By the way, we use DriveCheck Discord for this, so. There's your shout-out right there. Uh, Nexus at night. What's the one that's... Top Deck Heroes does... Uh, this, this is a bunch of them, honestly. Different Fight does his weekly reels, all that fun stuff. But, yeah, um, I want to do kind of... Similar thing, but not really, because I don't want to steal the spotlight completely, but put my twist on it. So what we're going to be doing today is going over the targets of the week, going over the news briefly, but also playing some Zero while we do that, so we actually get some action for some Vanguard time. Vanguard time and Vanguard time. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Get into our first game, we're going to jump on the ladder. And I do want to play the newer deck, Nubatama I think? Well then just, I think it's Nubatama. Check my build real quick. So we go into look for rights. Hopefully this doesn't completely kill my computer. Uh, yeah, it's new Batama. Shuffle my build real quick while we're doing this. I am invested anything into it. It's really just my pulls. We got PGs uh, with the blue blue. Fugi, kind of last one. Bind a random card. Put that back. End of turn. Deck has a lot of things where they just bind stuff and then return it. Uh, this is just filler. I couldn't think of the last good grade I want to put in. Bind bears. I think I have one more of them actually. Let me go with my deck. I'll see if I could afford to put it in. Yeah, because I definitely run all those. Uh, I put this back. It's plus three. That stacks. 10k beater. All these SPs I pulled from the things. Like, I didn't craft any of the idle SPs. They're just for flavor. <laughs> uh, grade 3's, we got two more break rides, if you guys want a second, I need to fix this. Our heal is the Kabukuki Kango, who binds all of your opponent's rear guards and bounces them back. It's a great field clear. 
um, new version of Void Master who actually gives you a combo boss to discard from hand that start of turn, which is super cool. And probably my favorite card in here is the Yozlokongo. Yozlokongo, that's what his name now. As Lip Break, once per turn, if you put out four more cards, count boss one, discard one, and he gets plus ten, then bind two random cards. So you just bind a bunch of cards with it, it's really cool. Let's actually go into edit this real quick. Because I forgot if I did this before I started recording. Great three. Great twos, great twos. I think I'm full of my bears. No, I'm full of my bears. I'm full of my bears. I can't remember more break rides though. Uh, I don't want to take out Void Master. He's so cool. Let's minimize that. I'll take out one Void Master. Run two of them. That was on SP. That's how we decided. Boop. Do I have sleeves on this yet? I don't even think I have sleeves on it. Oh, why haven't I chosen any sleeves? This is so immature me. So immature. Let's go, let's just get a cool unit one, I guess. Randomize. Look, 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 look. There's some Narakami. You could be... Sweet Command. Sure, why not? Alright, let's so open this cord and start talking news. It's my lovely two second meme for Best Golden Wigumi. I'm sure you've seen it plenty of times before. Uh, Alright, so starting off, we have today's, this week's, um, Brant Gate stuff. Ooh, going up. Speaking of Brant Gate, first thing that's over, grab there. And we're going in second. Cool, cool. So they got two new cards this week, which I think it's really cool, first of all, that they are actually. Uh, that back, I'd rather add to him. Get the healing back. But yeah, um, how they've been revealing recently has been kind of one day per nation per week. So we've had like a rant day, um, no, ooh, beasties, it's gonna be tough. Um, rant day, keter day, dragon day, so on and so forth, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, we got a couple new cards for Brent this week. Starting off with Super Speed Roy Chivalry Stud, also known as a Transformer. I'm gonna ride into we just one of our Fukis, unfortunately. It's about all we can do this turn. Boost with the Foxy Boy, which I didn't say this Fox is such a cool starter. That when he hits, you could Soul Blast 2, put two cards from Bind Zone into Drop Zone. Yeah, um. <coughs> Shell Stud, that's the way it's to be healed, unfortunately. Is. Uh, once per turn, Rearguard ability. Toss Cat Boss 1, Soul Boss 1, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and imprison it. Then, if you have three more in your prison, draw a card. Once again, I love the concept of prison. The fact that you're able to effectively choose what goes into your hand. Oh, hello, 10k. And gives you that interactivity that your opponent can suddenly say they're going to choose to free their cards, but they have to pay a cost of Soul Blast or Cat Blast, so on and so forth. So, I love that concept right there. The one damage right here, that's nice, that's fine. I don't think we do anything until a grade 3 turn. Oh no, we lose an SP! I don't really care about those two. I think there's only a couple of those that we sent for here. And, like, honestly, that's a. We could call that. We could call that. Get two damage this turn. Let's bind Bear right here. And actually, I want to bind the Street Bouncer. So, like, I was trying to get second damage in. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm stupid. It's wasted cards. Don't look at me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's say about prison. Prison's awesome. I love the concept. I'm probably gonna build that deck. So this is a free on call in prison. And well, not on call. Just once per turn, which is even better. And the cost is a little steep, but hey, you get draw off it, which is really good. Moving on to their other card. Hello, person ride. That's the uh, Sure Kaiser kicking old school. Yeah, Fighting Dragon, the good dragon, who is a grade 2, and was discarded from hand. If you have a set order, you could kind of boss one to call it. That's kind of cool that you get free call for cost. Um, what do you think though? This is a rush. What is this deck? I thought it was Beastie Looks kind of like the Blood version. Alright, 
Like, um, oh, this Mr. Vince was so cool. Yeah, uh, at first I was a little weird about this effect because Brant doesn't really discard anything for effects. But, well, this, this ride decks. This card exists for ride decks. So we're going to see where you stand here. Excellent. Um, keep it fast enough. Yeah, it's great. Free. I don't know where you're gonna run it, but it's some free Brad Dax support. We got blah blah blah. blah, blah. Ooh, Tuesday news. Going to that in a sec. Let's have ride something. Do I have to break ride? I do not. Nah. Nah, we don't have anything we can really do here, which kind of sucks. I guess I'd rather go into my boy because he looks cool and he could shiny SP. Real reasons. Real reason. Call a couple 10Ks. Not that's not a 10K. There we go. I said call the 10K. There we go. Get rid of some interceptors, unfortunately. Whatever. Wish you in this game well. We clear for you at least. Should have brought some more root beer. Yeah, there's my starter. My comment from that. But, uh, let's start off with... I guess we'll go with Brant first, since we're talking Brant. Gonna change it up, even though I was talking about McCool Kid first. But we have no triggers, which is unfortunate, but we get the clear board. Yeah, the, um, Cardinal Fangs. There's a starter right there. Just gonna try and click on so you can see the arts. All the starters basically have the same effect, where if you go a second, you get to draw a card. Literally all you do. Which, uh, ugh, I'll leave that to another discussion video. I don't want to draw it too long. Um, no rag, okay. So the green one, when placed on Vanguard, you get search deck for a world card, put in your hand and shuffle a deck. Then, when it battles or boosts, you can, if you have a world as Dark Knight or Abyssal, you get plus two. So it's basically a 10k beater, 10k booster. Everything's hitting those 23 numbers, really, if you look at the combos. Yeah, um, World is their new order, which we'll go over in a second. And he's basically just fetched that for you, just like the grade 1 for uh, Erase did. For in prison. Where's the grade 2? I watched the grade 2. Whatever, here's orders. Talk about how orders work. You can set more than one. You can set more than one now. Yeah, uh, this is the first world. Which is a grade 2. Ugh, waste all these traitors. Um. Yeah, the first one is called the Howling Moonlight, which is, we're not doing anything this turn. Ooh, so bad. I'm gonna lose this first game, don't worry about it. I'm gonna call a couple grade threes. Damage bunch, and we'll show off the SP heal. I don't like revealing heal triggers, but we don't really need it, so it's whatever. So clear board, continue damage. Hopefully I can hit a heal off something, like we've already wasted three, which is ridiculous. Bad first game, bad first game. Yeah, um, so when order is placed, you get to Soul Blast 1 and draw a card, or place itself on draw. And then effectively, all the orders that we've seen are saying, yeah, multiple of these out. And of course, you get a draw trigger one, but you know. Um, he does play for verses. Interesting. So if you have one world, your world becomes Dark Knight, two becomes Abyssal Dark Knights. Once again, that gets into his plus two effect, and some of your other effects you're going to see. So yeah, there's that. Here's the grade two is Cardinal Noids. I didn't read his name, Kubizia. Um, when the world's put into your zone, choose one of your cards to get plus five. That's kind of cool because it's whenever a world gets placed, so you do it once per turn. And during your turn, if you have Abyssal Dark Knight, so not the first one, but you have to have two out, then you get a plus five. So he's static, 15 on your turn, and once per turn, you grant plus five. Not bad. Not bad. I can see running more of these. Outside the ride deck, because that's a decent skill. Uh, finally, his great three years. Show off that first. Here's the second order. Going in order. The world of something about darkness. Darkness nobody knows. There we go. Uh, once again, has the same skills. One, you become two. One, become dark. Two, become abyssal dark. Oh, God, we lose this so much. What's my bare limit break here, honestly? Uh, four more, kind of one card, one for your hand. Get four, ten, bottom two, and cards from your hand. I'm just going to get rid of everything. Fubuki. Gamma Blast. Plus 10. Bind all your rear guards. Uh, he has zero intercepts. So really, it's a better one to stay on. 
go into the binding bay right here. Binding, I guess, the gray one front. Call, because we're, we're foundering this, we're foundering this right now. Activate Skid Hostel. Bind everything. Oh, I have this card one. Oh no. Oh no. I miscounted, but not really. Alright, so we're just gonna push this try. That's all I can really do. Yeah, um, this on place is effectively that you get to target one front row and retire it. It's good. So you're looking at the grade 2 order, lets you draw the grade 3 order, lets you, um, have some retire. So this, this is the reverse you there. Same kind of skill, though. Same kind of skill. Then finally, we got your grade 3, the Cardinal Deus, deity man of the deities. We're, we're gonna retire some stuff. Let's retire some stuff, making sure I do this right. It's the same thing either way. So this guy first. Get those two. I think we only get one bind. Yeah, we only get one bind, which is fine, because we still clear board. Yeah, um, two simple skills during your turn if your world is darker. Dark Knight gets plus five, so it's always 18k as long as you have any world out. And if you have both of them out, you kind of want to call three Shadow Army tokens, which are these little, these just 15k boosters. And, yeah, you get a free field. That's kind of stupid. I'm still going to lose this game real quick, by the way. But, um... Yeah, so the Eternal Deities overall, they seem to be just about generating field advantage by creating cards and making larger numbers. Honestly, feels very DP to me. Which, for these cards that look like Joker, feels very DP. Feels very DP. So let's look at the other ride chain for uh, Dragon Empire, which this guy looks awesome, by the way. This is going to be my new starter for Dragon Empire, even if I play Overdress. This, he looks cool. We got Desert Gunners, which makes me think of Naragami. Awesome, they just hit the right phase. Um, let's call... Do we have anything about right now? Cannot limit break, so we'll just call 10k. Show off our swag. I'm actually, we're decent here, we're decent here. We can push at least 2 damage. Hopefully it doesn't have a PGI, I wasn't paying attention to those drive jacks. But, um... Nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, the big one is Nigel, and his effects are when he's rode upon by the next guy, you get the Soul Charge one, then Rear Guard ability, which means you won't actually run these. He does have perfect guards. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Wipe this one. But, um, when your opponent's Rear Guard is retired during main phase, kind of one to retire him, choose one to retire. That's basically kind of one to retire two. If you think about it that way. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Randor, the grade 2 for the ride chain. When he's ridden by the grade 3 for the ride chain, you get a skill. That skill is that you draw one, choose one of the cards you drop and put it into your soul. This is great because you can automatically soul charge this boy since he uh, has to retire for effects. So that's plus one soul automatically. And then when he attacks, if your opponent has two or fewer rear guards, count plus one soul charge one, he gets plus five. Oh, uh, we lose this game. That's fine. That's fine. We were it was losing battle. Two heels in the hand. Yeah. Um. 15k attacker once again. His cost the counter blast, which kind of sucks. But you do get the soul charge off it, which I guess kind of neutralizes it a little. Which you may say this is the last soul, Mister Mister Man. Why? How? Why are you soul charging? It's the grade three. This, is this guy, Narukami man. They're all Narukamis. So let's look for a new game. Um. Two skills. First of all, once per turn, costs Rust two rear guards to have your opponents choose one of their rear guards from Tyrant, the and he has plus 10. This is interesting because, ooh, we're playing some Shadow Pals. We're just gonna lose today. We're just gonna lose today. That's fine. We're showing off new decks. I don't care. Uh, yeah, uh, what was I? Two, two rear guards, right? So, blah, 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 blah. where our hand is. We do have a break ride. Keep the break ride. Keep the break ride. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna ride, ride chain. Look at these Gavriel sleeves. Ugh, not fair to Gavriel. See, give me dark goats. Right. Um, I'd rather save this. We'll just ride the 8k. That's fine. And actually, he has to boost the Vanguard. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. So let's move Foxy over there. So, turn it. 
Mine's going everywhere. Yeah, uh, rest two rear guards, retire a card, what we're saying. So, yeah, you rest your grave ones that you called rear guards are cool. Uh, retire them for their own skill. You get a free rest, retire one off him, and Cavos one, retire one off the other guy. So it's a free uh, Cavos one, retire two, I guess. This way to do it. Yes, plus time. So a free trigger right there. But, uh, da, 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 we're gonna ride into a show off, uh, show off I'm a ride. Let's do another ride real quick. I, I honestly have never heard of Sui or the other one. Like, I know of Kurno and some other of the idols, but I've never heard of those ones. So, uh, we can actually do this once. Go ahead, call him real quick to the boosty circle. Is that one from field? That's not one from field. So we can actually deal, we can be a little aggressive this turn. Well, that bind is good. Get some power. We'll use Fuki to make him buy another card. Did it. Get some power right there. So actually, we want to attack, I guess, rear guard the mirror. Well, he costs a soul blast. He costs, yeah, he costs soul blast. He costs soul blast, so we can't do that yet. So we do want to go rear guard first. We want this to hit. So I could retire his two cards of bounce. Which is really one card, I'm stupid. There they go! A plus thing. That's not hit, don't worry about it. So, uh, his Vanguard skill, we do hit. I want to hit with the idol. Is, um, once returning my opponent's card is retired, Soul Blast five! Five cards! And we do that, you can check your top cards, number of empty circles they have, call that many cards, and the rest go to Soul. Interesting. Interesting. High Blaster Dark. But, um, so this deck very much deals with soul. It makes me think of the Dark States. And the interest there, that if you look at the old map, which I could also bring on screen by happens, is, um, Dark State and Dragon Empire were on top of each other. There's been some talk of some of the cards migrating how, uh, Virana looks like a red Primogette. And this is even more proof of that. We will form a Great Alliance. We're not hating on our deserters. We will just form a great alliance, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Soul Retire feels very dark regular for an Archon deck. I like it, though. I like it. I'm still going to end up playing Overdress because I like the aesthetics, but it's, it's not bad. Moving on to Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday's a good day. Here's some sleeves. Uh, next set was announced or whatever. We're going to ride the break right here. Because we have them. Show off this ride in the animation real quick. Yeah, you can see over here is some art for set two. Call some 10Ks. Ka-chow. JK, I lied, he's a bear. It's not a 10K. Bye, Nimmons. You go into the bye-bye zone. Attack there. I'm going to attack with 10K first, so I could do I have soul? No, I don't have soul. Uh, give him a free Nimmons. That's fine, deck thinning. Death thing, Bryce. We do that. Yeah, uh, there's the arts. Uh, set two looks like they're gonna have these toppers, which are basically the uh, character with their key unit on the back. It's cool, I guess. It's cool. Let's see, smart. We can push. I am pushing one break. I don't care. More key damage. We're being reckless. That's how we play. Um, Dark Shadow Trigger. Let's go. Oh, yeah, boy. We're getting into the good stuff. Battle Sisters. Divine Sisters. Here's a great one. Look at her go. So as you can see all those on the side. I'm not going to edit that out. Can I slide this over? That does nothing. It does nothing if I slide over. Ugh, so weird. I hate this format. I need to work on editing this for next time. But, um, grade one, Tartine. And that's placed, you can soul blast one and have it take a nap, check your top two, one goes to the top, one goes to the bottom. Scratch two on place. Really good. Gonna be seen with the um Sorceress build. I can walk all many guesses. And that's building that makes us excited for that. Then we got this grade two, it's kinda cute. It's a rocket launcher. Um, Pastilo. Is she a food? No, they're not foods anymore. Uh uh, we drive check a Trigger unit, Soul Blast one, it's plus five. Once again, Megas is you're just gonna be uh, stacking a bunch of triggers, so it's not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to tell you about what I actually care about. Let's break red something. Break red the shiny boy, because he's shiny. I honestly didn't look at the effects at the time. I just wanted to break red and get his break red. There we go. Oh, got rid of perfect red. Nice. Hype, hype, hype. Uh, is there anything we can use with this? When it attacks, once per turn, when it, it's all on attack, it's all on attack. So we do want to clear out this board and call some interceptors. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and clear that first. This wants to attack Vanguard, I believe. I'm gonna attack Vanguard. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to attack Vanguard, hit Vanguard. Oh no, I don't think he's my Foxy Boy. Activate all the skills. Yeah, um, let us talk about the glory of Dark State. Dark things off with a freaking Gear Chronicle card! Oh, it's, 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 Gear, it's Gear Chronicle! It's Gear Chronicle! It's the first, actually, the third, I guess, we have the product stuff, but this is the first Gear Chronicle card! Oh, so hype! So maybe he doesn't need that perfect guard. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. I want to discard three. But, uh, how quick, wait, there we go. Steam Detective Ubalit. Ubalit. Who, in place you get to choose one card in the same column as they get plus 10. And if you're Final Rush, it's plus 5 instead. Not bad. Here comes the Raging Forms. That's fine. We'll talk about Gear Chronicle while I get my buck kicked. Um, so. Uh, Either a 13k beater or a 10k booster. Not bad. You're also going to want me to Final Rush for it because then you can plus 5 the card in front of it and it'll resand with Final Rush. So, it's two attacks with plus 5 on it. Get some value off it. What's more important though, so honestly, like, out of all these reveals we just got, which are amazing all the way, but this is one of my favorite cards that's been revealed. I love his art, love his effect. Predable Dragon, who is a Gear Dragon. Gear Dragon, uh, when it attacks or boost, if you're on Final Rush, kind of one, put a rear guard in soul, choose one of your soul, add it back to your hand, cycling, 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 this seems so much potential out of this, so, um, right now we don't have a way to call out of soul during Turner to, rather to call anything during battle. I guess. Oh, do we win this? <gasps> do we play field and win this? We'll show them the power of heal triggers. We'll show them the power of heal triggers this turn. We'll win with the power of heal triggers. Yeah, um. So right now we don't really have a way to call mid battle that we've seen. There are. There's that nightmare doll that. No! Give me the victory. Whatever, it's fine. We won. We won with the power of heal triggers. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. there is that one Nightmare Doll that does call out of soul, but that's a main phase thing, so I won't apply with that. But, uh, there's nothing Legend 2 nice. I'm not really competitive, I don't go for rank yet. Uh, wow, I'm just for half an hour. Awesome. It's gonna be a long video, ladies and gentlemen. Get one more game in. But yeah, um, so you don't cycle, have a way to get multi attack out mid battle out of soul. Which is what would make this card amazing, but future proofing that way it is amazing for that reason. However, if we talk about random soul charging triggers and stuff, if we talk about um, putting a card that you want to activate the on call ability on back in your hands, because you just shove in the soul and call it right back out. So good! This thing just screams combo potential. Ooh, this is a nice lease, by the way. Uh, so, right here, we just keep this, we keep this. We like it. Yeah, love this card. Not sure I'm gonna build my deck yet. That might be my next thing to do is start working on a proxy build, but it's so good. I'm gonna ride into a Fuki. Kabuki Buki. A Fuki Buki Buki. I don't really think it matters when we play starter. It's supposed to be my high mega Um Moving on to our second to last, third to last card of this reveal, we have a lovely little type of walker here, beautiful. Uh, Pale units. Her name is Merja. No, I didn't want to open that. With my stream, I just opened the window into the actual internet. The actual internet. 
ladies and gentlemen. But she is a grade three succubus. Um, Marjorie, I was right. Marjorie and Marjorie. Something like that. Mary Jane, free fairy tale guys. Represent the guild. I still need to get that tattooed eventually. But um, when it attacks, if you are in Thunder Rush, you could soul charge one of your rear guards, draw one, soul charge one, against plus ten. Can we, can we talk about this for a second? Can we talk about this amazing card for a second? Okay, give me a list, I'll give me a list, I'll give a fight. We, we wrap that. We have the critical trigger, we might not hit here. That's fine. But, um, there's a draw. There's a draw. We're getting all the idols. Um, when it, so, what's it talking about? Number of terror. This is what immediately reminds me of. Its ability to, when it attacks, soul charge the thing and get supported bonus. His is that you, hers is that you get to draw one and soul charge one for plus 10, making her automatically, uh, 20k, 23k on her own. Hits numbers. Uh, once you're in, like, Final Rush and stuff, you get all these other buffs, but a uh, big meter on her own. Uh, this is almost a turn skill, so you can't activate it twice for your resand, but it's fine. Uh, you get Cycle, and you create Cycle for your boy Protobulb if you want to. Great. This is great. I love it. Definitely run this to in my Final Rush deck once I make it. However, if we talk about the start of the show, it's not this trigger. This is the over trigger. If we talk about the start of the show, is this little goggle wearing steam monkey boy? It's my grade three. I have to ride. I ride the cool one. I don't, no, I want to ride the cool one. Hit me quick and drag. Thank you. Yeah, um. Goggle, steampunk boy. Brucey, Bruce Goose. Come call some boosters. Just make some numbers right here. Uh, don't have anything cool we can do. Let's just call a bunch of idols. Show off all the SP glare. Yeah, um, so, Diabolus Boy's Eden is a sign of Eden. Um, Promise Neverland is a good manga that I started thinking and I thought I was thinking the Wonderland and all that stuff. On his effects, um, so he has two effects. First of all, if you're in Final Rush, he gets plus five, then when he stands by card ability, aka you will stand for Final Rush from Bruce. Oh, Kinda hate doing this one take. But uh he gets critical plus one. It's good. Very very good. Very good because that's um uh resanding uh, fifteen K that resanding with a crit. It's great. Then when he hits you can last one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. It's a very good card. You have a fifteen K resander. Resands with a crit. And if either is the tax hit, you get to retire a card. So good. So good. Like I I wanna build Final Rush. I mean I was going to anyways. I'd waiting to see if there's any other Final Rush cards or if I have to just go on your spoiky boy, but I love this deck. It's all sorts of cycling, it's all sorts of rethings and combos and just mm. Dark Sun represent. Dark Sun represent. Love it. And I guess we're we'll gonna uh, talk about the over trigger. Here he is. He is the Hades Dragon of Resentment, Galmage Held. Galmageld. Dark Sea's Abyss Dragon. Same as so all over trigger effects. His additional effect. Is my hand perfect, guards? You got hand perfect, guards. This is happening, ladies and gentlemen. This is happening. No, we're not calling him perfect, guard. We're calling him dragon. Attack this board. But, um, so his additional effect, which I'll read off as I do this. Um, during your turn, all of your vanguards get power plus 10, critical plus 1, until the end of the fight. So let me highlight that. Until the end of the entire battle that you are playing. That's not a one turn thing. I've said before. Over triggers are like the one mistake of the game. I understand the potential of them being a miracle thing. I understand this being a one card in your deck thing. It's all. It depends when you see it. 
and when you reveal it, it's all about the. Let me get this picture while I talk about him. All about the hidden potential of these cards, really. So, normally if you open the Overtrigger early on, you're like, oh well, whatever, I just hit Giant Attack once, or I was able to guard Giant Attack once, and move on with the game. Good for you. However, once you hit that 3 4 damage threshold, once you get to your game ending swings, if you haven't seen Overtrigger yet, you have to PG every single Vanguard attack because you don't know what's going to happen. And like, all the guard in your deck, especially once guard's gone, now that guard's gone down for your defensive skills, is... It's going to attack me a couple times. Oh no, that PG's. Um... Saying, yeah, every attack is now unguardable once you run out of PG's. So it's very much a PG or GG format. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, the longer you hold on to an overtrigger, even if you're holding it in your hands, the more advantage you just create because of that. This one, though. I'm afraid for the future of this game because of this effect. Granted, it's amazing, and it is Gear Chronicles, so we will play it. But uh, the fact that like the earlier on you see it, the earlier Vanguard instantly becomes uh, is a critical trigger. I'm not going to ride this, I'm just going to call some stuff. Um, we have a game right here. But, yeah, the earlier you call this, the earlier you basically make your Vanguard plus 10, plus 1 crit, the more devastating all your attacks become. Suddenly everything's swinging double crit, suddenly everything's swinging um, plus 10, and everything is, what, two more cards out of hand, one more if he has a trigger? It's insane the value you get out of this card. It's utterly insane. Let me attack. Let me attack. It's final turning. Yeah, uh... What else can I say about it? It's a good card. We're running out 40 minutes, so I'm just gonna move on. It's good! Uh, they premiered the first episode of the anime. That was kinda cool. We'll do that in another thing. Move on to some more Dark States. We got two new cards on Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, we got Intr Introductory Beastmaster Megan, who's adorable. Uh, if you still charge this turn, plus two. Pretty simple. Not sure if it stacks, because it doesn't say what's return or anything. If it stacks, that's cool. If it doesn't stack, that's cool. It's a 12 computer. Uh, same thing kind of with this, but it's a much better ability. Uh, Steam Artist Pitahana. Cute little Steam Wifey right here. We're going to just play violinist. I am as well a musician. I'm going to die right here, this. I'm going to die right here, this, maybe. That's fine. Let's talk about Steam Hunt Girl. Uh, put in soul, choose one of your cards, it's plus two until end of turn. Um, hit combo that automatically you're into this girl right here, you're gonna plus two. And final rush once again, you get to resand your dude, so we'll just plus two one of your cards, you're gonna final rush. And she goes into soul, which helps you feel all your soul abilities. Not bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, finally, last reveals. I'm gonna actually get there in 40 minutes. I'm gonna actually get there in 40 minutes. These are our last three cards. Our Dragon Empire card of the week. You got Vailana Ox. Excuse me. At least I died to a witch. At least I died to a witch. That's all that matters. But, um, it's another Overdress with Trickstar. When it's placed on rear guard and is an Overdress, count plus one, draw two, it gets power plus five. Pretty simple 15k attacker. It lets you cycle cards, it lets you draw cards. Not bad. I mean, I think I forgot who said it, but I saw a tweet that um, the whole ability of the Overdress deck is that you basically are cycling Trickstar in as many lives, which is why Tri the Virana has all these different forms, and that's kind of cool. I like that aspect a lot. So, there's that. You got Stealth Dragon Hadoukshin. Hadoukshin. Grade 3 Ninja Dragon right here. Um, we'll place Kai get out of here. Get out of here, Kai. We gotta show off my girl. Uh, <laughs> this dragon was placed on rear guard if you're in overdress. Calvas one, choose one of your opponents rear guards, retire it. Not bad. Look at all these things cycling on my intro screen. Um, yeah, Calvas one, retire one is always good. It's just this is one that's tied to overdress. Also, interestingly, 
if you could, I don't know if you could techno dress into the Desert Gunners from earlier, but this will queue off those ones as well. So that's cool. And final card of the week is Order, O Burning, Pure Prayers, Blitz Order. If you got three more cards in damage, and choose one of your cards, it's plus 15 until the end of battle. Nice has no cost, which is great. Uh, plus 15 is great. It's effectively a trigger and a half defensively. And it's a blitz order. Use this when you're guarding. I love the Witcher's giving us all these blitz orders. So, I believe it's all the reveals for this week. Yeah, it's all the reveals for this week. Let's go ahead and go back into this mode where I show off my Prick of Feist. Actually, that's, that's all we're going to do. That's all you're gonna see, just that. God, I don't like that. It was gonna just right there. There we go. There we go. Just get rid of Discord. Screw Discord. Discord, go bye bye. Discord, go bye bye. This is how we. This is how we record now. There we go. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this format, I know it's like a 40 minute video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to ring that like, comment, subscribe bell. My head is through the top of this. I'm not editing these, uh, like I said. And raise energy, support it. Code Skyridge down below. I uh, will try to do these more in the future because it's kind of fun, good way to get some content while actually playing the game. Um, new episode of Pokemon coming out tonight if you watch this on Sunday when the video drops. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Always embrace the infinite. Poke this Pokeball. Eh. We'll just end this way. Bye everyone. Sorry I can't edit videos right now. <laughs>